Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jumping on the topics, my beginner to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Donnelly's body has allegedly been cremated by a funeral home. Spice gets put in her place over tape measure music video. Dexter Daps and Ayaktain gets big up for supporting upcoming artist Niger Boy. Skeng and Joshi gets confirmed for Sting 2022. Shensia gets blocked from Anita's deluxe album according to her A&R Jizzy Clean Face and Vibes card tell alleged girlfriend visits his mother Teresa Palmer. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Donnelly. You see my people now some information has surfaced that her B.O.D.Y. has actually been cremated and that's the reason why they will never find her. You see my people. Now before I play the video for you guys, I am not here to confirm that what this person is actually saying is true and I'm not going to say that it's false. You understand? As it relates to Donnelly, you know, know say a whole heap of things, a whole heap of rumors that fly all over the internet everybody I give them all analysis as it relates to all of that you understand what I say and me just want me to know say me not confirm what this person is true um, what this person is saying is true but I know that it is actually possible because you don't know in a Jamaica as a matter of fact in the world when you have money you can get things done you understand what I say my people and you know that is a very sad situation also her mother Sophia Log actually made a post on her Instagram page not Instagram Facebook page and the mother does a talk about certain things where she go through same way you see my people she's still in the hospice and you don't know she go through a tough time same way people which which is very understandable because your daughter gone without a trace so let me get to this video first and then me go show you the post where Dana Lee mother make on her Facebook page you see my people so watch this you don't listen to me you don't know say boy doctor but we talk facts yeah, so we don't give story I know everybody all worked up now and all that said, boy, I know well enough for this and now no, well not coming out of jail. There's a reason why when I know I go to court the last time, what happened not what happened. They have proof, they have evidence. Right? Not only that, though, when Noel go back to court on the 16, he's not coming out, he's not getting any bail. You understand? What have happened to that young lady? He might go pay the price for it. And it's the first in a Jamaica justice system, something is going to happen. And when that prosecutor done, all of us have to big up that prosecutor of his hard work. And there's a reason why they're not giving the family any information. You understand? One thing me that I like for to change in Jamaica, the government need to crack down on these funeral homes that are doing this illegal cremation. It's illegal. Too much of them is doing this thing and getting away with it. And some of you will never find your loved one no matter what you have tried. Too much illegal cremation is going on. And they are aware of it and they do nothing about it. We have too much funeral home there, Jamaica. When I read between the lines what I say, understand the matter of what I say. You understand what I say? It's a sad situation. But my mama tells him now come out of jail. And there's more people will be arrested. He's not going to be the only one that, that is going to be arrested. There's more people who will be arrested. Right? We have to just keep following our going, follow the page, and follow the story, and follow the people and we are giving you the legitimate information. First of all, we can't depend on enough of this TV station. Because they are going to false information. And they run by radio broadcast commission and all that. We don't run by that. You feel me? I say? So then they, they, they can't come and say, all right, make them can't take me off of Facebook and all that. They have to go to the, the, the man who on Facebook. Right? A logic can't go on and all that. She don't come back. Rest in peace to our condolence to the family. Do the maths, people. Read between the lines. All right, my people. So that is the latest thing that is being talked as it relates to Donna Lee. Yes, my people. This person feel like they will never find her. And it has been, uh, I think I was so two months now. And them st there's no trace or anything like that. So unless the person who actually did it come out and talk, you understand what I say? Whether it be the guy Noel or whether it be another person, but somebody have to come out and probably tell them what happened. As long as them not do that, I don't think them really are going to find her. You understand? That is if she hasn't been created like what this person is saying. Even though I'm kind of put it in a little parables in a way, but that is what the person is saying. You see me? Now we're going to actually move on to... um to what her mother posted on Facebook. You see my people and you don't know more I wanna bless up the mother you know people because you don't know the lady I got through a tough time. She can't come out of the hospice all now. Anyway, so 
this is what she say. Blessings to y'all. I am here lying in this hospital bed trying to be strong so I can get well and go home to my children. But truth be told, but truth to be told, I am hurting so bad deep down in my stomach. I am so weak. Why, why can't I wake up from this horrible dream? My baby girl, last words to me was, my love, I soon come home to you to be your friend. Almost two months now. Donna, where are you, my love? I am in the hospice, uh, waiting for you to come and take me home. God, please have mercy, God, and send my daughter back to me. I can't go on no longer without you, Donna. My breath is leaving my helpless B-O-D-Y. And she put a, a whole bunch of crying emojis. There's my people, so very sad, like me say. You know, the mother really, really needs some help, people. More, yo, people, you just pray for her. That's all me I tell you, no, because it's rough. You see me? You have to put yourself in a fear shoes for even imagine the way how she feel. You see me? And even when you put yourself in a fear shoes, you still not feel even half of the pain of the woman I feel. You understand me? Some people. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Dancehall Queen Spice. You see me, people? So, you know, no, say Spice Emancipated album is out and stuff like that. It will go on with itself. Well, based on some posts when we, when we see she make number one reggae album in the world and number one one pan that the chart and this and that and you know it's definitely a good look so people actually are supported seeing people but you don't know me not create no excitement till me actually see the numbers them the first week sales and stuff like that which would have be available maybe this week or next week but anyway um spice i get called out for the tape measure video and a youth actually put out a video saying that a one thing alone she can sing about Zin people and me also see other persons that say that say spice are just one thing alone she can sing about now if you have follow spice you know so she have different type of songs she have friends she have song what about bad mind you understand she have more than a large catalog but majority of it to be honest is definitely about skinning out and them thing there but I think the reason why Spice do that is because that is what actually works for her. There's him more people, but I just want to talk about that a little bit more. Let me get to the video so you can hear what this brother have to say and you can tell me if you agree or not. And another thing too, a big and pussy Spice thing, bro. You hear that? She can't construct a good tune to me. You hear that? Oh, Spice, oh, oh, she said them that come out and do a song like you can't tell me where fi do, where fi go, how fi dress, me no papi show. Every woman can relate to bum like that. We have a man, we want control them. You hear that? But spice them, everything you sing about. Bully, pussy, bully, pussy, you don't have anything to teach the youths them. And that me I tell you. Big song you come out with. You hear that? Nobody can sing that. And that me I tell you, no youths. Where you see? Can walk and sing that. Like how them would have sing a Shensi and a Jada Kingdom and a black clad star cashly. Yeah man, so like me say my people, me see a lot of persons that say, boy spice, you can do something different now. Why every single song you have to sing about the same underneath and you know you need for 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 show your versatility and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna be honest with you no people. You see, if Spice for do like a conscious songs, or conscious songs, I should I say, I don't think they will actually get the, the, the real support, like how oh, them song I get them support and stuff like that. Is it my people? Because the tape measure song, it's trending. Not sure if it's trending in America, but I know it's a trend in Jamaica. And I know the views are going good so far. In the first day, I know it reached a good amount of views and stuff like that. Is it my people? So if she did do another song, I don't think it would have actually get the support like that and that are one of the reasons why Spice continue to do them type of song here because it a work for her. So until you start support good music when the artists them put it out, the people them are going to continue put out these type of songs. That's just how it goes. You see my people? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section.
So now we're going to talk about Dexter Daps and Ayaktien getting a lot of respect from an upcoming artist named Ninja Boy's mother. Now recently Dexter Daps was in um, Canada, I believe, performing and him they call up a youth. Seeing the same youth I talk about Ninja Boy. He's actually blind and thing people. But very, very, very talented youth. But now I go around you seeing the youth. A lot of persons are saying he even look like Dexter Daps. Some people even wonder if he's like him younger brother or whatever. You understand what I mean? Some people and I mean the mother right now she put out a voice note i thank dexter daps i act in for you know i show support to her son because you know this youth i really love music and stuff like that i gonna actually play the voice note um so you can hear what the mother say and thing and we to also play a little piece of one song where mother come out with um i act in it not forward out yet you know people but you know can look out feet and thing you understand me i say um, yeah, so listen what the mother say. I just want to send a big thank you to everybody who has been supporting my son, Nigi Boy. Big thanks to I Octane and to Dexter Dab for helping him on his journey. Thank you very, 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 very much. Yeah, man. So it's definitely a good look, say. You know, the mommy has support her son 100%. And, you know, she has shown her appreciation because at the end of the day still, this youth, like me say, very talented youth. And I feel like he might reach far in this music business. Remember, you know, he was also endorsed by Chris Brown. You see, my people, I remember Chris Brown have millions and millions of followers. And if Chris Brown said this youth talented, Chris Brown is a talented artist and him no talent. So, you know, that is self-explanatory. Yes, yeah, my people, but let me get another um the little clip where I go play for no so you can hear the new song where I come out with Ima Ayakti and you see it, people. Listen this. The young girl is from preschool, acting and the Jenna. Nigel boy again, oh I fit teach these fools. So you know she's a keeper, but you acting like you don't wanna keep her. That's why whenever she leave work, she come at me yard, forget the proper procedure. You know I do your job. Yeah man, and Nigel Boy is also signed to Dr. Love record label. Can I remember say Dr. Love basically make him get more popular and thing, you know. You understand? You know, say Dr. Love a blogger. So, him, you know, promote him on him platform and thing like that. You see my people, the record label name MCCS record label and thing. So, you know, that youth are definitely going to go places and thing. As long as them, them push him the right way, I feel like, say, he will reach a far way as it relates to music and in the industry. You see me? Them just have to work on him and make sure, say, you know, them have some bucket of cars. You have to have some money to get things out there and get things done. Yes, yeah, my people. So let me know what you guys think about this. And you can go follow Nigel Boy over on Instagram and you can go check out some of them music where him have. You see me, him have songs for the ladies, them. Him have songs for your mother where him do. A Mother's Day tribute and all of them type of things. You see it? And since we're on this topic, calling Dexter Dab's name and stuff, I want to talk about a video where I see I go viral as it relates to Dexter Dab's being in. Grand Cayman and a woman actually a try put her jaws on Dexter Dab's head, my youth. I don't understand what, where that woman is really, I think. Yes, yeah, my people, Dexter Dab's basically miss it by the skin of him teeth because if him, maybe if him never see what going, he would actually be a laughing stock right now, even though you can't really blame him because they're not like him see when she had do it. You see me, but Dexter Dab's no same have to be very careful as it relates to some of them female here because some of them well freaky and thing and you know, for them wireless dreams, I for probably say Dexter Dabs do some things to them where him himself no indulge in. You see my people, the woman them go on mad for him, them love him and I think that is a good thing. That's how we actually help Dexter Dabs get a whole heap of bookings that a whole heap of woman come out for come see him when time them no same my forward. You see it people, so let me know when you think about that woman there try to put her dress on the artist. Leave it in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist King and Jashi being confirmed for Sting 2022. Yes, my people. So, let me get into the story right about now so I understand what's going on. So it's a dancehall artist, no, dancehall sensations King and Jashi confirmed for Sting 2022. Last month, Supreme Promotion spearheaded by Isaiah Leng signaled their intention to renter Jamaica's live entertainment scene with the long-awaited return of Sting Dub, the greatest one-night show on earth. On Saturday afternoon, the event organizers made their first public announcement regarding confirmed acts for the Boxing Day billing. According to a post on Sting's official Instagram account, trending dancehall sensations Jashi and Skeng have given their commitment to the festival. 
in an actual press release sent to the media in July, the organizers intimated that they have already secured the services of some 15 artists. However, no names were disclosed at the time. The December the 26th annual showcase previously held at Jam World in Portmore St. Catherine will be relocated to the North Coast Grizzlies Entertainment Centre in Sentence is the new proposed avenue. Sting is the ultimate coliseum where lyrical masters unleash their lyrical projectiles with the intention of emerging the ultimate victor. It holds a platinum microphone categorization as a seminal and only true stage for grooming of young, not so young and popular dancehall artists in the art of stagecraft and lyrical mastery, the organizer stated. In 2018 and 2020, Isaac Isaiah Leng declared that the show would have returned after a hiatus. Unfortunately, neither of the two stagings came to fruition. The latter was mainly due to the ongoing CV-19. You see it, people, so two artists we know officially get confirmed so far. I feel like, say, Massacre, I one of them who got there the scene. I feel like Silk Boss is our next one as well. And the reason why I call them two names there because of the two persons them who actually get confirmed so far. And if you don't follow up the internet, you don't know why and you don't know Sting is what type of place. Right, my people? So, I guess we have to wait and see Wells are there and all of them type of thing there. You see me? I know some man like Futa Hype excited for Sting come back because, you know the thing, go, Sting, I, like, I guess that I like one of my favorite events as well. You understand? It get for... All enough artists are going and attack, say them at the rear and hey, if you can clash against an artist live on stage, then I guess that show your true potential. Don't it, my people? And also, people, Skeng make a post on him Instagram page showing so the little mistrack with him and Nicki Minaj is actually ready. Because I remember say, some time ago, Nicki Minaj had kind of give some hints that she will be featured on Skeng song Little Miss. Is it, my people? So it ready now. And Skeng make a post on him Instagram page. Is it, my people? Him post up that that you're seeing on the screen and you can see it's a little miss king featuring Nicki minaj and in the caption him tag Nicki minaj and put the jamaican flag emoji as it people so we did already know that something was in the pipeline because of course Nicki minaj love dance and music and you know obviously she collaborated with vibes cartel skilly bing and um style g you don't know that Nicki minaj is like a yardy really and truly so um, I'm not hear the track yet, people, but I think there might be a preview out there. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I can wait and see how the official thing go on. Um, more than likely, it will be posted on Skeng's YouTube channel. Yo, I'm not lie, still know them for shoot a music video for this, you know. Skeng and Nicki Minaj in a music video, people. Yo, you better do a music video for it. I'm not business. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel girlfriend, or alleged, me should I say, um, basically visiting his mother, Miss Teresa. You see my people, Teresa Palmer. So let me get into the story right about now. And as usual, you can't tell more anything about this. Is it? So it's a Vibes Cartel's girlfriend meet his mother, Teresa Palmer. The world boss has introduced his new girlfriend to the public on several occasions, and apparently the time has come for that special woman in his life to meet his mother, Teresa Palmer. Following a photo posted on Cartel Instagram story, it would appear that the artist and his girlfriend, known by the social media handle Side Martuk, have taken their relationship to the next level. Cartel has always openly declared his love and appreciation for his mother. Therefore, bringing these two women together, both in one space, ultimately means that the woman is more. The woman is more than just a Gaza girl and is more like family. The photo in mention shows both women seated with their heads bent and smiling as they pose for a picture together. The polar anthem entertainer expresses love by posting a few heart emojis beneath the photograph while also tagging the female. Meanwhile, Vibes Cartel continued his expression of love by sharing another photo in his Instagram story of this of his lady with newly released single dedicated to her title True Religion playing in the background uncertain of what the entertainer has planned he teased fans by captioning the photo with the words something amazing coming soon you see it people so I that I go on what I go on um, when you can see Vibes Cartel girlfriend as them say 
and his mother. You understand? So it's definitely a good look. And you don't know how Cartel feel about his mother. It is no secret that he love his mother. You understand? The man do sang about her. He love his mother very dearly and stuff. But also, there is a next photo shared by Vibes Cartel. Is him a people with the same female actually visiting him at the Horizon Adult Romance Centre in Kingston. You see it? And you can see the photo up on the screen and things. So, you know... As I say, people, it, it, it look like, you know, that woman definitely love Vibes Cartel and look like him love her too. But I don't know the people him personally. I just uh, go off uh, what is being perceived out there or uh, the perception or whatever you know, one call it. There's more people. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And now we're going to talk about um, Shensia being blocked from Anita's album. You see it, people, and Shensia A&R is basically exposing the reason why that actually happened, you understand? So let me get into this story so I understand what's going on. So it says, Shensia's A&R claims producer Dr. Lowe blocked her from Anita's deluxe album. Danny Dizzy Flores, CEO of We Good LLC, an A&R services company, went to bat for Jamaican singer Shensia on Instagram, claiming that producer Dr. Dr. Luke didn't want her on a song that was appear that was to appear on Anita's newly released version of Me Deluxe. However, this is outburst is being described as unprofessional and corny by rapper producer Lunch Money Lewis, one of the writers of the Shelves track. In the since edited Instagram post, Dizzy apologized to disappointed fans and called out Dr. Luke and his publishing company, Prescription Songs, for not wanting Shensia on the song with the popular Brazilian singer. Sorry to Shensia fans that she was not on the album. Dr. Luke, RX Songs, did not want her on the song. Dizzy wrote earlier today. Dr. Luke, who was entangled in an infamous legal battle with singer Kesha over allegations of SEX UAL assault, has dozens of hit songs to his credit, including Doja Cat, Say So, Dua Lipa, Don't Start Now, Maroon 5, Moves Like Jagger, The Weeknd, Starboy, Lizzo Juice, and most recently, Nicki Minaj's Super Freaky Girl. In his Instagram post, Dizzy praised Anita and her manager, Brandon Silverstein, CEO of S10 Entertainment, to which Shensia recently Inca publishing deal for opting to remove the song from the deluxe album entirely rather than replace Shensia on the track. He also hinted that the song or another collaboration between the two singers may still happen. Thanks to a real one at Anita at Brandon Silv who decided to take the song completely off instead of replacing her. Shensia ex Anita coming soon though. God is good. We good. Is it added? You see, my people, so that's not the full article. If you don't want to read the full thing, you can go check it out on Dancehall Mag, um, Insta, not Instagram, them website. You see, my people, dancehallmag.com and thing and thing. So, you know, sometimes I just, them things are happening, you know, people. You no, know, no, so I will politics in a music and them things. So, you know, we don't really know why Shensia get blocked from being featured on the song or being featured on the album, but. I say go sometime, is it? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until we drop the next video. I'm out.